Welcome back to my channel. We're going to do a review today on the Eco-Worthy Lithium Iron Phosphate Battery from Amazon. Um, it's a 150 amp hour battery. It was $500 when I got it, $529 with a $30 coupon. Um, we're going to do an unboxing right now and then we'll do a capacity test, make sure it's at least pulling capacity. There's other teardowns on YouTube, so I'm not going to be doing that. I'm actually going to be using this battery, so I don't really want to tear it down. Um, but the teardowns look like a it has a, a decent build quality, so if it has full capacity and it's only 500 bucks for 150 amp hour battery, that's pretty sweet. So, but almost two kilowatt hours. Anyway, here's the box. It comes in from Amazon. We're going to open it right up. On top, we have uh, just the charge profile and in information about the chemistry. The two little bolts for the battery lugs. Pop this off batteries inside we're going to pull that out right now oh okay about i think it's 30 pounds 39 pounds something like that i forget what what its weight is okay there we go has all the features right there 3000 cycles more than 10 year lifespan high energy density built-in bms but it does not have cold temperature protect protection. So we're going to have to add that in ourselves with uh, our charge controller. We have a Victron car charge controller for this. But anyway, so there we go. 37 pounds, 13 by 6.9 by 8.5. Anyway, so there's the parameters of this battery. Next, we're going to do a capacity test on this. I'm going to actually hook it up to my van. That's where I, the only battery monitor I have. I'll charge it up and fully fully charge it, fully discharge it, make sure it pulls the, at least the full 150 amp hours. And if so, it sounds like it'll be a good one to keep. Stay All right, good. doing a little video review today on this eco-worthy lithium iron phosphate, 12 volt, 150 amp hour battery um, from Amazon. It cost me $500 shipped. So I'm doing a capacity test on it right now. I just charged it up off my solar charger to the full 100% charge. Um, I set my battery monitor to 150 amp hours and I'm currently doing a drain at about 66 amps. Um, and so we are going to see if it'll pull the full 150 amp hours, see if it's a battery that's worth buying or if it's just cheap Chinese junk. Um, I'll show you some updates as it's going through, but right now we're just continuing to run this. I'm currently running it on this, just a little space heater, like I said. It's pulling a full 66 amps off that right now. Um, so it should be done with this in about two hours. We will come back and see how it's done. Um, so far it's looking good. Everything's doing well. Um, comes with, I mean, it looks looks nice when it comes. Um, everything looks pretty good. The reviews I've seen online are very mixed. Some say that it gets full charge. Some say that it's pretty terrible. So we will see what we get with this if we're getting the full capacity. Um, this is the only battery monitor I have to be able to test capacities in my van build. So I'm testing it before I install it, make sure that it's worth it or if I need to send it back to get my money back because it's misrepresenting itself. So we shall see um, and I'll let you know. All right, well, it's been running for a couple hours now. We are now at 9.7 amp hours left of the 150. Got another eight minutes to go to finish this off. It looks like it's probably gonna get that full 150 amp hours. I'll come back and check at the end. But it's looking All good. All right, well, that's pretty awesome. It's done a full 180 amp hours. It's still pulling power, still doing 3.11 amps. Um, got 10.8 volts still coming out of it. So it's it's still running, still hasn't got the low voltage disconnect. This battery looks like it definitely pulls its full capacity. Eco-worthy lithium iron phosphate, 120 amp hour, 12 volt battery, 100, I mean, $500. It's smoking deal for what you're getting, honestly. I don't know how, what the longevity will be. Um, I'll update it as time goes on. But as of now, I can say that this looks like it's a pretty sweet uh, sweet deal. The one thing it does not have is low temperature um, charge protection. So you have to make sure that you have it in an area that is not going to have below freezing temperatures um, where it can charge or you need to have uh, something set up so it, it won't charge when you're, when you're at that temperature. So I currently have this right there. Um, smart solar I can get an adapter for that so that we can set it up so that it won't charge at that certain temperature um, but 
it looks like it is doing pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy with it. So as of right now, we're going to give it a thumbs up. Um, and I'll get this installed with the rest of the batteries and looks good.